Iowa Canola has finally exited Toronto FC and he is signed for San Jose Earthquakes. And going from the bottom of the Eastern Conference in the MLS straight into the playoff spots in the Western Conference. A huge move for the Canadian international in Iowa Canola, who has of course had a rough couple of seasons in the MLS with Toronto FC ever since he had that major injury. And he's never been the same since. But this transfer could just be what Iowa Akinola needs to revive his footballing career. Iowa Akinola will join San Jose Earthquakes on an initial loan deal until the end of the 2023 season, but there will be a purchase option at the end of that deal for the Canadian International if San Jose so chooses to purchase him on a permanent deal and that would be of course a huge move for Iowa Canola and I think they will probably be purchasing him at the end of this deal because this might just work out brilliantly for San Jose Earthquakes and it might just turn into a Jacob Schaffelberg type of move for Toronto FC and Iowa Canola. With Earthquakes manager Luchi Gonzalez setting his side up in a 3-4-3 system this season. With one recognized out-and-out -out number 9 striker in the lineup, I expect Io to walk straight into this side, not as the starter per se, because of course he isn't up to that standard yet, because he will be walking in as the backup in my opinion, backing up their current striker in Jeremy Abobasi, who has 7 goals this season for the club. And right now, that is no need to concern for any Canadian fans, because they have a long run into the end of the season, where there is going to be a lot of rotation, and of course they have a huge playoff push on their hands, so Iowa Canola will of course be getting lots of minutes, lots of time off the bench as a super sub and get a chance to prove himself as he is the only other recognized striker on the Earthquakes roster outside of Jeremy Abobasi. So he will of course get lots of chances off the bench to prove himself with a brand new club and a manager that of course backs him. And this will be huge for Iowa Akinola getting a chance to come off the bench and to try and have some confidence under his belt again. Iowa Akinola brings a lot of exciting qualities to an already brilliant and exciting San Jose Earthquakes attack. With Iowa Akinola being an out and out number 9 and striker and center forward, he brings an exceptionally high level of passing ability and link up play in the final third, which is a huge addition to an exciting San Jose Earthquakes front 3. The likes of Christian Espinoza, Cade Cowell, some brilliant and exciting top MLS forwards. Of course, looking at Christian Espinoza, of this season, he's been an MLS All-Star who leads the side with 11 goals and 5 assists. Having 16 goal contributions is absolutely exceptional and he has been very good for San Jose Earthquakes, of course, which rewarded himself with that MLS All-Star call-up. And that'll be huge, bringing in an attacker like Iowa Akinola, who can bring in that quick 1-2 interchangeable play in the final third, and a player like Iowa Akinola who lines up down the middle, but is also able to drift out wide and help the wingers with some nice 1-2 movement. But also having another exciting young talent in US Mentee attacker in Cade Cowell, who loves to pick up the ball and have a dribble, having a player like Iowa Akinola coming in late in the game with a bit of pace, who's 5'9", quick with the ball, also able to play a nice short pass and a nice one-two with some nice interchangeable play is huge for a player like Kay Cowell who loves to play with the ball and dribble with the ball at his feet. Playing alongside these attackers will unlock Iowa Canola's ability to create more chances in the final third for San Jose Earthquakes, especially late on in matches heading into this playoff push. But for me, this move resembles completely like the Nashville SC move for Jacob Schaffelberg. When Toronto FC sold Jacob Schaffelberg, he initially went on that loan until the end of the season with Nashville, where he hit the ground running and extremely impressed the Nashville fan base, the Nashville squad, and of course the manager, and he played fantastically well, which then went on to him earning that permanent move to Nashville Soccer Club, and it was a brilliant transfer. And this Iowa Canola move for me resembles that Jacob Schaffelberg trade exceptionally well. It's just like a mirror to me. And Iowa Canola is going on an initial loan deal until the end of the season, just like Jacob Schaffelberg did. And if Iowa Canola can do what most Canadians are doing on a consistent basis, 
basis and proving themselves when they get the chance. I think this could be a carve and copy of what Jacob Schaffelberg did with Nashville SC. This is a perfect comparison. Yes, they might not both be in the same positions, of course, with Jacob being on the left wing, left mid, and Isle playing straight down the middle. But this is a carve and copy comparison for me, and it's a very exciting way to look at it. Because TFC have done this with many Canadians. Look at all the Canadians that have left Toronto FC and done brilliantly well. You have the likes of Jacob Schaffelberg, who exa- exactly did what Iowa Wackenola is doing now. Lucas McNaughton. So many players and Canadians have left Toronto FC and have done brilliantly well, especially Luca Petrasso playing for Orlando City. So many Canadians have done well after leaving Toronto FC, and I think this Iowa Canola move completely resembles this Jacob Schaffelberg move, carve and copy. But it's not just that. This move, I think, is going to hit the ground running, and I think it's a perfect fit for Iowa Akinola. It's a complete fresh start. And that's what Iowa Akinola has needed for so long. He's needed to leave Toronto FC ever since his major injury. He's never been able to hit that fine form he had in 2020, where he was absolutely lights out. Yes, Iowa Akinola is still a brilliant striker, in my opinion. I think he's a fantastic player. Still a very young striker and has a lot he can still bring. And I think he can still have a huge impact on his career at San Jose and could potentially earn a transfer off the back of this eventually. And I think he still has a strong look in for the Canada T eventually. I love what Io can bring to his side. And if he can find his form that he had back in 2020, yes, he's shown flashes of it and of his old self since then with Toronto FC, but it's never been on a consistent basis. That could be due to the consistent rotation and never being able to consistently get starting minutes for TFC. Or it could be due to the heavy rotation of managers or the heavy rotation of players around him in the TFC system. There could have been so many different factors since that major injury he had in 2020 where he was absolutely lights out for TFC. But a fresh start for a new club, a fan base that will probably love what Iowa Akinola will bring them. A new manager that really wants him and that can bring him in and settle him down. A fresh start and to play with these exciting attackers it all seems like too good of a perfect fit for Iowa and all guys. He needed a fresh start, he needed a new home, and I think this transfer will be perfect for Iowa Canola and San Jose Earthquakes and might just have an exciting playoff run to go along with it. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments about Iowa Canola joining San Jose Earthquakes from Toronto FC and who made the right move here. Was it a good move on TFC's part, San Jose's part, and has TFC won the transfer or has San Jose won the transfer and how will Iowa Canola fare at San Jose Earthquakes? Let me know what you guys think down below guys. Hit the comments down below, drop a like and hit that sub button and we'll see you guys for the next one. Peace!